everyone, I'm Jen. And I'm Joe. And we're Jen and Joe. On, on the, the go. go. How are you, Jen? Oh, I slept so good. How about yeah. you, Joe? So, not used to smaller beds because we have a king size bed at home. Yes. Um, so, the bed was fine. I it's mean, a queen. It's a queen size bed, but we just got to be a lot closer all we night long. Did. <laughs> Lucky you. There's tons of fish jumping out here. We're behind Joe's parents' condo, and it's a boat. Dock. It's a boat dock. Boat yeah. Dock. yeah, yeah. And there are just tons of big fish jumping. This is the same area where a couple of years ago we saw the manatees. They were just right here at the boat docks. We got a bunch of videos of the manatees back then. We did. Um, but yeah, so we are starting off our day. We have a lot going on today. We're going to head down to Anna Maria Island, which yeah. is a place that we've been to many, many times over the years. But we haven't been there in 10 years. Yeah, it's been a really so, long time. So one of your most favorite restaurants ever is the Sandbar, which is down yes. there on Anna Maria Island. Yes. And we are going there. The last time we were there was in 2013. Yeah. So we're going to head down there. Come along for the ride. It's a pretty scenic drive at yeah. points. Um, we have to go over <laughs> a really big bridge. Yeah, it's the Sunshine Bridge, which is 275 south and as you leave Tampa to get down towards Bradenton there's this huge ginormous bridge um, which you know the Sunshine Skyway yeah if you're afraid of heights um, you just while I'm driving I'm just gonna look at the road uh, but yeah yeah so we're gonna head down there and spend part of the morning and afternoon down there in uh, there Emory was like Island. What did a you just school see? of like 20 or 30 fish and then a big one right behind them. Just jumping out of the water? No, just like literally chasing the school of fish like that oh. is my breakfast. Yeah, well, that's what they do, I guess, you know. It's crazy. Yeah, we've a lot of fish jump in this area here too, right by the docks, because there are a lot of smaller fish, so the bigger fish eat. And then we saw the manatees and um, there have been dolphins back here too, but I don't think we've seen dolphins back here. We have here. not seen dolphins no. back here, but that would be very cool. All right, so come along for the ride. We've got a yes. really good day going on today. Yeah, and you don't want to miss it because yeah. this is just the start of our Jen and Joe on the go time in St. Pete, time oh, in Florida, oh. time in Disney World. Yeah, I'm should be really, a lot of fun. Really looking forward to these two weeks. It's been a long time coming. So overall, then too with the weather, it's right now we're in the shade and there's a breeze because we're right on the yeah. water, but it does feel a lot warmer than it has. Uh, in other July's yeah. that we've been yeah. here, it's um, but, it's warm. The air's kind of stagnant. Um, not right now. I mean, it's it's heavy. Last night it was very heavy. Very heavy. Very, very humid. Very like 100 percent humidity. Oh my God, it was brutal. Yeah. So, all right. Enough complaining. It's lovely. It's beautiful. It's Florida. And we have yes. We're here. We're on vacation. We don't have to worry about and, work and, and, and kids and. and Everything and goes along with daily life. Let me show you this view, and then we're going to head off, and we're going to show you more throughout the day. But and maybe yeah. we'll see some fish. Or dolphins. Maybe. All right. Let's go take a look and see what we see here. Maybe we could see something over here now. All right. Pretty cool, don't you think? It's really pretty. Yeah. It's really pretty back here. Quiet. Yeah, it, it definitely helps um, when it's calm like this. So you don't get some of that seaweed, red tide, dead fish kind of smell that can permeate the air at times when water is stagnant. But yeah, it's really nice out here. So we just went over the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. Uh, we will show that to you on our way back from Anna Maria Island, but just wanted to show you some of the views. So we have water on both sides. I don't know how well you can see that. Joe's driving. It's just so beautiful. And the views are only going to get better the closer we get to the island, so I'll be back to show you that.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Enjoy the view. Oh, there's a breeze. I know. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy the breeze. Enjoy the view. Enjoy your lunch, and your server will be right with you. Thank, thank you. you. Good. So we are at the sandbar. We made it. We got over that crazy Sunshine Skyway Bridge. Always makes me nervous. Um, but we are here. And what did our waiter Tom just tell us? It's a brand new menu that is premiering right now. Today. This very second. Like the restaurant just opened. So we are the first one to get the drink that you ordered, which is a boozy lemonade. And it's key lime flavored? Yes. A key lime boozy lemonade. Oh my gosh, I can't wait until that you try that. That sounds so refreshing. That sounds I can't really, really good. It. it does. So we're sitting right on the beach. This is freaking amazing. We love it. This is awesome. I'm so glad we did this. So a little background. Um, the sandbar has been here for a very, 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 very long time. And I used to come here as a kid. Yeah. Um, before you could just go out to the beach and go back and forth to you know, sit at a table and have your food and go play in the water. Kind of similar to what Caddy's yes. is, used yes. to be. Caddy's yes. has gotten more popular down yes. there in St. Pete as well. But Sandbar is you know, pretty well known and it's been around for decades. So, um, But the last time we were here was 2013, so it's been 10 years. It's been a really but, long time. Um, and uh, the menu looks great. Yeah. From yeah, what yeah. I understand, I believe it's um, farm to table. Uh, but I will confirm that. Yeah. I will ask. Um, they do have um, a lot of partners that will provide food and drink for them. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah. So this is cool. Let me get a couple shots of the menu and show you that. Bar, trying a new drink, new to the menu today. Jen, you are the first one to try it. I am. What is it? It is the Boozy Key Lime Lemonade. And I got the uh, Mai Tai. What did I get? The Mango Mai Tai. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, good. That's like a key lime pie in a cup. Oh, with booze. That's really good. Nice. Sandbar, new menu today. All right, so our waiter Tom is just full of information, which he's really, really great so far. Um, you're right, it is farm to table. The owner of the sandbar has actually owned it for almost 45 years. And he does, they have a farm themselves. So it's in Parrish, yes. Florida, he said. Yes. So 26 acres for the farm, 13 of which is organic. So yes. half of his farm is organic. Um, they do partner with other uh, businesses in the state yes. to help provide sustainable to be sustainable help provide food that is going to be healthier organic fresh. more natural fresh yeah so um that's part of the reason why restaurants get successful and stay successful because of the food ultimately yes. it comes down to that if you're able to provide really really good food that people love and then you have an atmosphere and like this and obviously good drinks yes so um I, yeah, I'm looking forward to, so far everything has been good. The drinks are great, service is great. I'm looking forward to the food now. Yeah, and so this is our um, one splurge meal for this part of the trip. This the part, part of, the, of trip. the trip. It's our splurge um, meal for today. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Tomorrow. I'm just, 
I'm so excited. This is such a beautiful area. If you've not been to Anna Maria Island, um, it's over the bridge from Bradenton and it's just, it, I, I, I'm just so happy to be here because so this is where I, yeah, this yeah. is where I spent my childhood summers on the beach, you know, right here. Playing in the it's water so like, special. like that guy with his two kids in there. Now I wouldn't play in the water because I know what's in the water, but back Whoa. in the day, yeah. love the water. Yeah, I know, I know, but. So again, Joe's got to show you this view because you cannot beat this view. And the water looks really nice. The waves, it's yeah. not. It's, it's pretty calm it's today. It's very calm today. The water looks really White nice. Sand. Yeah, it's yeah. gorgeous. It's gorgeous. This yeah. is a great idea, Chen. We need to come down here more often. We do. We, just we don't. really do. We need but to rent a house here. Yeah, that would be nice. I don't know. Really, really, really. Yeah, expensive. I was gonna say, uh, who are we renting it with? Rentals on Anna Maria Island are very expensive. Well, look at the area. I mean, it's understandable. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, let's check out this view again. a huge clam or mussels person because they're really chewy and you're really not supposed to chew them I mean I'm Italian I know no that. oysters you don't chew clams well, you can chew clams are just they're, well okay I guess mm. obviously I'm not very smart about when it um, when it comes to clams and oysters because they don't wow. eat them very often but this is really tasty wow this is really delicious I can't wait to try the Sabata bread in the broth. Yeah, it's actually really very, very good. Mm -hmm. Jen wanted to order it. I thought, well, you know, I'm not big into clams, so I'll probably have one, mm -hmm. but it's actually really good. I'm gonna have a couple more. Mm -hmm. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Ten of these clams mm -hmm. in the bowl. Good? You like it so far? Yeah. Yeah, very it's good. Very, very, very good. Very, good. Very fresh. I did it, I did it, I ate the clams. Yummy! And lunch is served. I got a mahi fried fish sandwich with huge chunks of onion. And Jen got the fried shrimp. That looks really good. Nothing like fried food on a hot, sticky Florida July day. It's okay, it's what you do. Yeah, this actually looks really, really good. Looks very good. Okay. You got some coleslaw on the side with some tartar sauce, ketchup, whatever no, you got No, some there. cocktail sauce. Cocktail sauce. Uh, that's so what I meant. And ketchup. Cocktail Let's sauce see. and ketchup. Let's see. Hot. Wow. Good? Mm-hmm. It does look actually really very good. Mm. That's delicious. And the cocktail sauce has just a kick to it, a little bit of a kick with the horseradish. Nice. Mm. That's yeah. really good. I've got the ketchup for the fries, but I got the tartar sauce, so I'm very anxious and excited to try it. All right, we'll let you know what else we think after we're done eating. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh goodness. So Are you warm? A little it, roasty? Yeah. A little I'm, toasty? I'm a lot roasty. But it's warm. Excuse me, how was your meal? But then again, Florida is having record high temperatures right now. I mean, Florida is hot in summer, but this is another level of hot. It's July. Yeah, it's hot. Even with um, the, the ocean breeze, it's it's still quite warm. Yeah, it is warm. But it is, regardless, a beautiful day. And yeah. what do you think of the meal? Um, I thought the meal was very, very good. You can tell that um, a majority of the food is organic, fresh to table. Very fresh. Um, the bakery Service as well. Yeah, yeah, Tom said that they have their own bakery. So the bread for my sandwich was a little weak when it comes to holding a sandwich together. But that's because the bread itself was really fresh yeah. and 
it that is what added kind of a sweetness to it because the bread itself was a little sweet and then you got the tanginess of the lemon and the tartar sauce so yeah mine was fantastic i thought it was great the clams were fantastic mm -hmm. with the butter garlic tomato bacon broth oh, they God. were amazing yeah yeah the fried shrimp was very very good the breading was very light very crispy again you could tell the shrimp was very fresh um now we decided to order the key lime pie because when in Florida. That's it, key lime pie coming up. I will say it's gonna be hard to beat Miller's Pub in Chicago. I know, I know. We gotta let Tom the waiter know about Miller's yeah. Pub in Chicago. So, yeah. but it's it's freaking Florida, it's key lime pie. You know you're gonna get good key lime pie here. It's just the surprise of mm -hmm. Chicago, Miller's Pub, key right. lime pie. But yeah, so, right. all right. All That's right. good so far. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Dun, 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 here it is. I'm so full. But you can't be too full for key lime pie. No, you can't. Okay, so hold on, let me fix your for. Okay, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Go for it. A little bit of the whipped cream. Mm. Good. Is it? You know? Good. It's sweeter than I like my key lime pie to be. Really? There is like a lot it? more sweetness than tartness, hmm. in my opinion. Hmm. It's very good, but I taste a lot of sweetness. Sweet's always good. Mm. I love the sweet. Okay, let's do it using. Okay, so what you think? <laughs> hmm. It's creamy. It is. Very creamy. I like the texture. Me too. Really, really creamy. I don't think it's too overly sweet. I think there's a good balance between sweet and tart. See, I, but I like it is my sweet. Key lime a little more tart. Yeah, no, there I think there's a good balance between sweet and tart. Because I still have that very distinct lime taste in my mm -hmm. mouth, even after having swallowed it. So the lime taste persists beyond the sweet taste. I like it. That's really, really very good. Cheers. Yeah, just keep your eyes on the road. The Thunderdome. Yeah, just keep your 
the raised the plate over there to the yeah, right. Yeah, just keep your eyes on the road. I got my eyes on the road. Keep your hands on the wheel. Hands are on the wheel. Play speed racer. Do you want to jump in? It's not funny. I know it's not funny. Makes me a little bit of a nerve. This was the worst idea ever. It was the best idea. You love the sandbar. No, to build this stupid bridge. Oh, that. Well, I guess it's better than the old bridge. The old bridge was really bad, apparently. Got hit by a ship, a cruise ship. The whole thing was damaged. They had to tear it down and build this one. Okay, so we just want to wrap up the video on the sandbar. What do you think? There's nothing negative I can say. Um, ambience, of course, was perfect. How can you not enjoy a perfectly beautiful golf view? Yeah. I mean, the restaurant is on, it's in the sand. It's, it's on the beach. We were right there. Yeah. Service was spectacular. Yeah. So this waiter, Tom, was really, very, very good. Really liked him a lot. He gave us a little bit of uh, background and history on the restaurant. Um, like we mentioned earlier, the uh, uh, same owner for over 40 years. Uh, they have a farm that is 26 acres, half of which is organic. Uh, and just, you know, so that makes a difference with the food. It really does. And everything that we had tasted really good. I had the clams, and I never have clams. And the clams, yeah. the broth, it had uh, bacon oh, and tomatoes uh, and butter and garlic. There was an, an oil in there as well. Um, it was oil based, but anyway, it was so good. It was really good, and I don't really like clams. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed that quite a bit, so I'm glad I stepped out of my comfort zone. Yeah, so Tom, our server, he was the right amount of attentive, the mm -hmm. right amount stepping away. He made some great recommendations. Yes, he did actually. The food was so good. I'm so happy um, that the quality is still there, yeah. that you can go and have such a great meal in such a beautiful location. Um, and just good that you were able to get back to it. And I mean, I mean, when I was going there as a kid, it was like burgers, grouper sandwiches. It was pretty basic yeah. fare. Um, daiquiris, pina coladas. They've really, really upped their game. And I'm so happy to see they're still in business. I can't wait to go back yeah, again. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back more often than every decade. Yeah. Um, but it's it was been, very, very cool. Yeah, it's been a long, long time since we had last been Yeah, there. in 2013. Yeah. Um, and then what's really cool is that they had this brand new menu that they de debuted today. And yes. because we got there early, we were the first ones in the restaurant. They opened at 11. So we were the first ones in there, and you were the first one to actually have their that drink, that lemonade drink, the yeah. boozy lemonade, the which was the key lime boozy pie. Lemonade. Yeah, yeah, it was so refreshing and tart and oh, so good and boozy. And the mango mai tai that I had was actually really very very good, but um, it was really hot. Um, it was extremely hot. I mean, there wasn't even a sea breeze blowing it well, was just the first table hot. they gave us was right under a fan which i we think we would have been there. but i wanted to be closer to the sand so Me we were too. still in the shade but by the time we got done eating and gosh we were so we had the key lime pie and we which had to really walk good. on the beach because we were right there right so just a couple minutes walking on the beach i'm like oh man i'm tired yeah. Jeez, this that morning, heat right now is no joke and you have to be careful you mm -hmm. really do so those who are walking around disney right now with this heat good golly oh. anyway um so we'll be careful next week when we're there yeah so. we will so thank you so much for watching yes. don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of the next gen and joe on the go action because the next video you see after this one, whoo, we're doing a happy hour. Oh, goodness. And and we were a bit remiss today. Uh, there were uh, there was a couple that was missing from our video. They shall return. They will. Tomorrow and in they every video. Siesta. I guess, obviously, we totally forgot about the Disney drinkers. So they will be back tomorrow. They will, I swear. And they will be back every day during this vacation yes why? and they will probably have company <laughs> because we'll be drinking every day yeah. that's why uh but anyway so stay tuned for more disney drinkers all right bye all guys right. thanks for watching Talk to you later bye <laughs>